Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Amulia from Amulia Labs. I'm here to discuss a very commonly ordered test in medical practice and a very important one, the complete blood count or the CBC. So what is it uh, about? The complete, basically our blood can comprises of a fluid component that is the plasma and it can carries a number of cells. Each of these cells have a, an important uh, function to perform uh, within us. So the fluid component is the plasma and the cells within it are the red blood cells which carry oxygen and hemoglobin and then there are the WBCs or the white blood cells uh, namely of five times and neutrophils, neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. These are the fighter cells and form the defense mechanism in a circulatory system. Uh, last but not the least are the platelets. The platelets are responsible for forming a clot every time you get a surface uh, cut on the surface of your body. Well, if the same clot occurs within the circulatory system, it creates havoc within us. Uh, so platelets are a very important part of a complete blood count. So when is it that your doctor would want to order these tests for you? Um, these are basically if you're suffering from malaise over a period of time, extreme weakness, fever or there is any suspicion of a focus of infection uh, in any part of your body or uh, if you are going in for a planned or an emergency surgery the doctor wants to know that you have a good uh, proportion of whatever is uh, seen or checked in a, in a complete blood count or else he might encounter complications during or after the surgery. So it's routinely ordered before a planned or an emergency surgery as well. Besides that, pregnancy, every antenatal visit, the gynecologist wants to know that you are having a normal level of all these uh, components of the uh, blood. blood. Gynecology practice, if you're suffering from ex extraordinary bleeding during your menstrual periods. Children, while they're growing up, might have nutritional problems, very common in our Indian scenario. They might be having um, a worm infestation and um, that's another reason where you might be suffering from uh, anemia and a complete blood count might be ordered. Uh, the other uh, scenarios could be some kind of treatment which causes bone marrow suppression and um, uh, the, the doctor wants to check out that you're responding uh, well and doing fine and, and none of the components which are required in a healthy person uh, are not uh, uh, decreased due to the treatment. Very common for uh, chemotherapy drugs or cancer treatment, although there are other kinds of uh, treatments for other diseases too, where, uh, where drugs uh, are effective for the treatment but might cause bone marrow suppression as a side effect. Uh, so those are the men. If you're suspected to have cancer of the blood itself, of course, CBC was the first test which is ordered. So these are the most common scenarios. My list is not complete. There could be other reasons why your doctor wants you to do get a CBC done. You're free to ask the doctor why he would want you to do the test. So what is it that you have to uh, do to prepare to get this test done. You could get it at your home by ordering it from a good lab or step into a lab itself. The person who collects your blood is called a phlebotomist uh, in laboratory medicine language and under esteral precautions he collects the blood and puts it into a vacutainer which contains an, uh, an anticoagulant. We at Amulia Labs send a feedback form and request you to fill up that form so that we get to know that everything went correctly at the time of your blood collection. So that's about collecting of the sample for CBC. Uh, automation has taken uh, a transformational change over the last few years and there are automated hematology analyzers which uh, carry out these counts and um, they provide a lot of information regarding the proportion of these cells the, uh, say the morphology of these cells, sophisticated technologies like electrical impedance, light scatter, flow cytometry, absorbance are all utilized and these uh, hematology analyzers are fed with user-defined criteria and they give out uh, uh, data which is commensurate with the reports. 
so if there is um, any uh, any data which is interpreted out of range with this user defined criteria the machine flags it brings it to the notice of the technologist who further brings it to the notice of the pathologist the pathologist might want to get back to you to get more clinical information or might get back to the doctor who's ordered the test and uh, information is all put together and you may be asked to carry out more tests depending on what has been flagged by the machine. So that's all about the CBC. Uh, last but not the least, I would bring, uh, want to bring across to you something about platelet counts, which are very often ordered. Platelet counts are usually done whenever there is a suspicion of uh, their uh, getting uh, low, you have easy bru bruising or uh, you have purple spots on your body uh, for some reason. It may be a viral infection like dengue these days. I want you to know that most our hematology analyzers are not very dependable for platelet counts because uh, they might bring about a spuriously low result and this is because of the inherent property of uh, these platelets getting clumped together and a number of platelets may be counted as one giving you a, giving us a spuriously low result which may not be true for the patient we should not go ahead with platelet transfusion just based on these low counts they should be double checked by the manual method manual method is the best method for platelet counting as of today newer sophisticated hematology analyzers are coming in we hope to get them soon however i would always want to double check a low platelet count by at least preparing a smear uh, with a fair amount of experience one can tell whether the counts are really low or not of course a manual count would be the last resort if the counts are really found to be low on the smear too so that's all uh, for um, the complete blood count for today uh, wish you a happy navratri and uh, let's celebrate our health this festive season. Thank you.